It was a marriage just like any other marriage. You are. You're very, very beautiful. I've never been to six parties in my Extremely life. Extremely beautiful. Life. Oh, I've never even been up this late. It's just a matter of habit. I wonder what the servants will think. They'll think we enjoyed ourselves. Yes. Didn't we? I don't see why you have to go straight after the newspaper. You never should have married a newspaper man. They're worse than sailors. I absolutely adore you. Oh, Charles, even newspaper men have to sleep. I'll call Mr. Bernstein, have him put off my appointments until noon. What time is it? Oh, I don't know. It's late. It's early. Charles, do you know how long you kept me waiting last night while you went to the newspaper for ten minutes? What do you do on a newspaper in the middle of the night? Emily, my dear, your only correspondent is the Inquirer. Sometimes I think I'd prefer a rival of flesh and blood. Oh, Emily, I don't spend that much time on the newspaper. It isn't just the time. It's what you print, attacking the president. You mean Uncle John? I mean the president of the United States. He's still Uncle John. He's still a well-meaning fathead who's running a pack of high-pressure crooks around his administration. This whole oil scandal. He happens to be the president, Charles, not you. That's a mistake that will be corrected one of these days. You, Mr. Bernstein, sent Junior the most incredible atrocity yesterday, Charles. I simply can't have it in the nursery. Mr. Bernstein is apt to pay a visit to the nursery now and then. Does he have to? Yes. Really, Charles? People will think... What I tell them to think. <laughs> <laughs> 